and 30. So then you got to cut it back, and then you cut it back. You can always have different versions of your story, but it's the same story. Four different versions of, versions of your principles. And the easiest way to stretch it out is by showing the story and adding the details to make us feel like we were there to take the vision. You ready? Let's get it. So I'm missing church for this. So if y'all, you, you know, y'all don't show me some love after I get done, like I'm, a, I'm gonna have a big problem. Um, so I was talking, I was talking to this my yesterday that I have a tremendous amount of respect for, um, who I, who I care about deeply, and uh, we were talking about the commandments, God's commandments, and not the ones that you're probably thinking about, the the thou shalt not kill and all of that. He was talking about the original commandments, what God gave us in the Garden of Eden when He first put man on the planet, to be fruitful, to multiply, to subdue the earth, right, to replenish and to take dominion. And so I think I, I would say my story is how a Christian life coach broke all of God's commandments. So my story is such that um, in my career, I have a background in uh, ed education administration. So for 10 years, I trained people all, all across the country in how to make better uh, youth development programs. So my organization provided tools, resources, professional development opportunities, et cetera. And um, even though I was doing really good work, and helping a lot of people, I still really wasn't in my, my calling, like my burning calling, my purpose in life. And the problem was that even though I was doing that good stuff, I eventually found myself in a spot where because of a fear and a failure to really step out and own who I was really supposed to be, I ended up having three job changes, three involuntary job changes in four years. And the worst part of it was each one of those times required my family to move. So while I'm trying to be the man and provide for my family, I'm also trying to play it safe and I'm not able to do both and it's costing me. So what I wanna, wanna share with you all is, is don't end up doing what I do, do what, doing what I did. I had to uh, figure out that I needed to make some changes, do some things differently and step into the lane that God had for me. That's why I pursued my certification as a Christian life coach. That's why I'm a part of boss and part of this family here is because I want, to, I want to make an impact in doing it in the lane that God has for me. So God wired you and equipped you to do something specific. Find out what that is. Stay in that lane because if you get outside of your lane, you're going to cause an accident. So find out what God has for you. Operate in your purpose and your gift and have the best life you possibly can. God bless you.